パーパーパーパーパーパーパーパーパーンパーパーパーパーパーンパーパーパーン Hello everyone, welcome back to Toys Channel. I am back from town and I've just picked these boxes up. For example, I've got the Timmy and Tommy figures from Animal Crossing, random box of Demon Slayer puppet Max Scott thing, as well as the Pokemon Star Room Series 2. It's quite lucky that I found these two at the Toys R Us because all the other retailers are selling them as a set. And because there are eight of them, I don't want all eight of them to be honest. So I'm glad I found them. As always, please remember to like the like button and subscribe to my channel for more. Stuff like this, Hot Toys, Marvel, Demon Slayer, Pokemon, game stuff, and without further ado, let's hit it! Right, here are the Timmy and Tommy figures in close-up. So as you can see, this is actually Series 2, and it's aimed for 15 years old and above. And as you can just about see, it's got a felt finishing, so it's pretty cool and cute because it's staying true to its real form. Outside of this arch window, you have the peach trees as well as the pear trees, and on the side, have got all the variations within the series so there are eight of them as you can see here in this lineup so there is Timmy and Tommy here as well as the I can't remember um, his name the dog playing guitar that comes every Saturday or Sunday fishing guy that comes every month and so forth and this of course is an official Nintendo licensed product and on the back uh, cautions nothing much well maybe you get the island silhouette here. Top, we have got this very cool box art with all the characters for this series. Without further ado, let's bang them open. Oh, this is so cute. Look at it. Looks so happy. Stand, let's pop the stand out. For the base, it says uh, Dobutsu no Mori, which stands for Animal Crossing in Japanese. On the back, you have the Bandai Nintendo copyright. Let's pop the pivot on the base. And the support piece is pretty much attached to the tail and it balances out, but it doesn't really stick on properly. Yep, not even if you use force. It's just there to make it stand up and not fall over. Okay, nitpick time. As you can see, the paint is kind of messed up here, but you can't really complain much because it's felt service, so it's bound to happen. Also, there's some stuff there on the head as well. Not sure why it's there, but anyhow. Ugh. Keeps on falling over. Okay, let's forget about the base for now. You can see the finishing for the eye is kind of reflective, just a bit. And also you get the tip of the nose, which is quite cute. As you can see from the side, it's even cuter as well. But let me get to that in just a moment. So there is the apron in plastic. And there's the logo for their shop as well. Same as the game, I really like the tips of the hands as well as the feet areas. So it's pretty cute as well as this kind of mask that Raccoon has. Let's switch to the side. You can see the pointy nose and the scalp is actually quite nice because you can see the head shape and also the tail in more details in terms of a 3D shape as is. So on the back there is nothing much just Timmy or Tommy uh, by itself and also the other side is pretty much the same let's move on to the other one see the paint job is a tiny bit better on this one but it's still a bit difficult to do on the felt surface so that's understandable the eyes is in contrast quite different to the other one because the other one was just closing the eyes being happy and this one is just being defaulted and have open eyes as you can see here and the other areas are pretty much the same in terms of the scalp and everything else because they are twins i think they're twins anyways they always go about together also the nose is less pointy and not as long as this one here on the right hand side and for other things it's more or less the same to be honest including the apron the hands the tail etc even the head shape and there is the back and as well as the other side 
So there. And for the eyes, it's a bit reflective because it's a piece of plastic being printed onto the surface, similar to this one I have opened previously. I think it's mandatory to have them both together because otherwise, number one, you can't tell which one is Timmy or Tommy or that's just me. And secondly, because you always run into the shop and they both just hop onto you to ask you what you want. I can't choose which one I like better because I like both of them and they do come as a pair they should be in a pair. And strangely, this one stands better once you put on the tail onto the support piece at the back. It doesn't really fall over as easily as the other ones. It's quite good. Because the other one just... Ah, see? This is the other one is really, really loose. Right guys, say so which one do you like better? Timmy or Tommy or Tommy or Timmy? I can't really tell which one is which, but one of them is Timmy or Tommy. Anyhow, I think these are great additions to your collection. Whether you're an Animal Crossing lover or not, I think these figures are great, and the prices are around like five pounds or so. Tiny bit expensive for the size, but the quality is okay, apart from some of the pink job being a bit meh. And as always, please remember to like the like button and sub to my channel for more stuff like this. Marvel, Hot Toys, Human Slab, Pokemon, etc. Games, stuff that I like, stuff that I do. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe and see ya!